If you're a working musician, or you have a list of songs that you want to get down, then you're in the same boat as me, and what I'd like to use is a set list tool in order to compile a list of songs that I need to learn, as well as export them to the transcriber. So, let me show you what I do. I go to More Tools, Set List Manager, I load up my set list, and I'm going to choose one recently opened called Persuasion Set List, which is a band, Top 40's band, covers band that I'm playing right now, guitar for, so. Here we have a list of the songs. Now I can use the media controller here to control it, or I can use these these buttons here, I just click on the main window and I can start from the first song or I can go to the next song by spacebar restart the song by pressing S and stop the song using M I can add new songs, load a music file for that song uh, delete selected song, delete music file you also notice that I can also enter information in here which is great if you want to print it out because it'll print out this information plus the list of songs. Now, <clears throat> let's show you the coolest thing that I, I think is useful. I added this in the last uh, incarnation of this program. Uh, the current incarnation is 4.0.0. Uh, so let's take a, a song here. Uh, let's see. Wanted Dead or Alive. So what I would do is I right click on here and I get a list of things I can do. I can edit the name. Send to transcriber, locate music file on disk, or delete. I'm going to send to transcriber. Watch this. Transcriber opens up, and it loads that tune in there. So I can start working on it. I can choose selections that I want to get down, like I might go here, right click here, or control click here if you're Mac. Oops. Um, I'll play it. from here. And of course you've got all the cool con cool controls where you can slow it down, work it out. Yeah, lots of fun. You can loop that selection if you want to. So if I if I just use a little bit, say here, press play. Now, usually when you open the transcriber, you can use like the space bar and it'll start. But when you launch it from Setlist, uh, the Setlist tool, you may need to actually click on the play button just to, and the stop button just to get that all going. Uh, like most transcriber tools, if you really want, you can export this section to a lick library. Uh, but for me, I like to use it with the Setlist tool. Now, when you close the transcriber, your Setlist uh, tool will open back up again where you left it. So, uh, if you're working out a list of songs, uh, this is one of the best ways to do it. Have your list of songs here and just open it for the transcriber, or just play it if you can work it out while playing it, that's good, but if you need to slow it down or work on the section, transcriber is a tool that you can open from this, this list of songs. So, that's my tip of the day. Have a nice day and I will talk to you next time.